everyone and welcome to our little sprout story time here at Clark County Public Library. This is our preschool age three to five story time. Um, however, everyone is welcome. And this is Miss Alyssa speaking to you from the Clark County Public Library. Well, so there are a few things that we tend to see a lot around this time of year. I know Halloween has passed, but even now in November, what is one of the plants that you usually see a lot of. Hmm, let's think for a second. Usually they're like orange or yellow. Um, may have gotten one for Halloween and put a picture on it. Pumpkins, exactly. After all, this is pumpkin pie time, right? Although we'll talk about more about that next week. So we're gonna be talking about pumpkins today. And so we are reading today with permission from Harper Collins. And our first story is called The Great Pumpkin Contest by Angie Rosalar. Published by Katherine Keegan, which is an imprint of Harper Collins. The Great Pumpkin Contest by Angie Rosalar. The leaves were beginning to change color. The air had become brighter and colder. And with the change in seasons from summer to fall, it was time for Cat County's Great Pumpkin Contest. Ooh. In this little county lived two cats different as could be. Mimi spent her days inside reading stories about cats who were bold, smart, and loved. Sometimes she wished she had a friend. Clara preferred to be outside, tending to her garden and having tea parties. Both wanted to win the first prize ribbon in the Great Pumpkin Contest. Earlier that summer, Mimi had read all the books and she formed a plan. She found the sunniest spot in her garden, made sure it was away from the wind, added just the right plant foods, and then dug tiny holes and planted her pumpkin seeds. She waited and waited and waited some more. Oh, don't you hate waiting? Until one day, a tiny sprout had appeared. Soon there were vines and then flowers. Little sprouts, just like you guys. Next door, Clara had happily planted her pumpkin seeds all over her garden. Before long, her pumpkin patch was filled with lots and lots of little pumpkins. Clara peeked at Nini's pumpkin patch. There was one pumpkin that was getting very big and round. Wow, said Clara, your pumpkin looks amazing. How did you make it grow so big? I've read lots of books, said Mimi. Very smart, said Clara. She went back to tend to her crop of tiny pumpkins. Mimi's pumpkin continued to grow and grow and grow. Look at the size of it. Clara's pumpkins grew too. Not as big. I mean, she gets a lot of them, right? Soon it's time for the great pumpkin contest. But how is Mimi going to get her enormous pumpkin to the fair? She tried pushing it and pulling it. But it was no use. The pumpkin was too big. If only there was another way. Ta-da! A wheelbarrow. It was perfect. Mimi rolled her gigantic pumpkin onto the cart and set off for the fairground. She couldn't wait for everyone to admire her very big pumpkin. 
Sarah stacked up some of her beautiful little pumpkins and headed to the fair too. She was also very proud. The road into town was bumpy. The pumpkin wiggled and jiggled. Soon Mimi's giant pumpkin began to tip. It teetered and tottered and oh, look out for that pothole, Mimi. What do you think is gonna happen? Oh, Roll right out of that rickety cart with enormous thunk. giant gloopy sloopy pumpkin. Mimi was horrified. She ran back home and hid. Ooh. There were pumpkin goods everywhere. Who will ever want to be my friend now? Later that day, Mimi heard a knock at her door. It was Clara. I brought you a pumpkin even though it's not so big. Maybe next year you could show me your pumpkin growing secret, she said. Mimi slowly smiled. Yes, I would like that. Mimi sat and stared at Clara's pumpkin and soon she formed a new plan. What do you think she's doing now? The next day, Mimi went down to the fair. She had a surprise just for Clara. A first prize pumpkin they could enjoy together as friends. <gasps> What'd you do with our pumpkin? She made it so that we use them. <gasps> Isn't that sweet? And then we have the life cycle of a pumpkin go from seeds, to a sprout, to a flower, to a green pumpkin, to an orange or yellow pumpkin, and then you take out the guts and you have seeds again. It's wonderful how plants work. The end. All right, I've also got ah, a flannel story for you all. are we starting out with? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five! Which is good because this story is called Five Little Pumpkins. What a quinky dink. All right. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, five, skinny leg. Can you yell with me? Five. Second one said, "There's a chill in the air. Gusher, chilly gusher." Woo. The third one said, "But we don't care." The fourth one said, "We'll run and run and run. Can you run?" Then. The fifth one said, oh my, what fun. Then woo went the wind and out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. And then you have no pumpkins. The end. All right, I've got a sign for you. This is Jim Gilson, Alabama, Mississippi. So if you are familiar with Jim Gilson's, let's wake the hook because we're probably gonna be doing some shaking at some point. All right, ready to dance? Awesome. Okay, let's go.
Shake it down. Okay, then I'm gonna shake myself back to my seat. All right, so I do have a craft for you today. Um, you can make your own pumpkin. Um, so I used orange paper, some green paper, and then these little, my family always called them split pins, but I think they're also called brads. Um, so the way they make it is, if you have your big person, um, you can also use yellow paper because be yellow or whatever color if you want to be cool um, your big person um, can make some outlines or some strips on a piece of paper and then you can cut it out practice your scissor skills um, and then have them poke a hole in the ends put it through the split pins and also maybe have a green one for a little stem and then at first we'll be all together but then once you spread it out you have your own little pumpkin. But you know, you could put it in the center of your table as like a centerpiece. Who knows? Anyway, just a little fun scissor craft for you. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.